What up, 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 what up? Yeah, we on here early, man. The congregation is on here early. What's good, everybody, man? Wanted to talk to y'all for a little second. Haven't been on live for a minute. Had to come talk to you guys and talk about something that's kind of been on my heart a little lately, you know? And uh, it's been kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with some young guys the other day, and uh, I wanted to extend the conversation with you guys today. Try to do it a little bit early. What's good, everybody? What's good, Jay Coop? Hey, yo, Sean, Isaac, a person, <laughs> Cold Heat, I am the Craftsman, ADB Productions. What's good? Suave Red, what's good? So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been kind of on my mind a little bit, but I wanted to talk to you guys, man, and, you know what I'm saying, talk to you guys about something different rather than just doing the, uh, just doing the beat reviews and stuff like that. Like, I, you know, of course, we have the beat review tomorrow night, and I would love to see you guys on there um, tomorrow night. But, yeah, this is uh, this is cool. So I'm going to try to get a few more people on here real quick. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, something that uh, I definitely want to, you know what I'm saying, get to and, you know, see what you guys think about it as well. And the title kind of says it. You know what I'm saying? The title definitely says it. You know, you got to stop caring so much. Like, you got to. Got to stop caring so much. You got to stop caring what people think. You got to stop caring about, you know, a lot of stuff to, you know, to really be successful in this, uh, in this music business. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about a few things. I'm going to answer a few questions as well. What's good, Timo? What's good, Alice? Chris Beats? Um, Isomatic, what's good? Yeah, it's a little early, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do our thing. You know what I'm saying? So I want to just you know get up here and talk to you guys about a few things, and you know you gotta if you gotta ask any questions, go ahead and ask me, man, because this is about y'all today. This is this is not about me. This is about y'all today. Definitely about you guys. But um, of course you know I am Bishop Bolo. You know, saying this is a Bolo congregation. And, of course, we do a lot of beat reviews and stuff like that as well. But I do come on here time to time, and I want to speak to you guys, you know what I'm saying, face-to-face -face about a few things. And, you know, it, it just about the music in general and, you know, trying to help you guys out as much as possible to try to get you guys better. But one thing I have been noticing, man, is a lot of you guys care so much about nothing. You care about care about so many things except for stuff that's going to make you money. You know what I'm saying? If I cared about everything that was said about me here on, on, on YouTube and on IG, I wouldn't be in the spot that I'm in right now, to be totally honest with you guys. Like, um, like I go through message after message after message, and I see so much stuff, man, so much stuff people say, so much stuff people do. And at the end of the day, you know, people think it really affects me, but it really doesn't. I think it's kind of comical when people say certain things, but then I see people coming in the comments and then they kind of go back and forth with people. And I, and it lets me know that, you know, some people take things very seriously that they, they never should, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what I want to say to you guys is who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for all you musicians and everything out there, what are you? Who are you doing this for? Like for real, who are you really doing this for? Are you doing this for yourself or are you doing this for everybody else? Because at some point you're gonna have to do this thing for yourself. At some point you're gonna have to really put yourself first. You're really gonna have to do things your way for you to be successful in this business. And you're going to have to throw your pride and everything aside and stop worrying about what people say, what people do, who gives a you-know-what. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? If you got beats, if you have songs, if you have whatever, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? That's the thing. Who cares? 
I think that there's too many people around here who focus on the wrong thing. And I think people in their minds think that by me saying certain things or me feeling a certain type of way, it's supposed to affect the world. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen with me, and so it shouldn't happen with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get a lot of people saying, Bolo, what should I do? I try to send my music off to such and such, and such and such writer or producer or artist, they never responded back to me. What should I do? Keep moving. Keep going. Why stop? You know what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? Are you doing this, like, like for real? If they don't like it, then keep it moving. Keep it pushing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's it's it's crazy. It's crazy how so many people right now are worried about the stupid things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's so many people crazy, like they, they're worried about so many stupid things right now. And I think that's why music is the way it is right now, because people care so much of what people think. Do you think all the pioneers in this whole music thing, right? Even from all genres, not just from hip hop and rap and all that stuff like the R and B. I'm talking about from all genres. Think of the pioneers of the game, right? Think of somebody like the Willie Nelsons of the game. You know what I'm saying? Think of somebody like the Princes of the game. Think of somebody like the Madonnas of the game, the Michael Jacksons, the Otis Reddings, all this. Do you think they really cared about what people thought or did they do things to help them out first. Because one thing about this thing is, one thing about this music thing is, you have to re have things relate to you first so the masses can relate. Because one thing about people and artists is, they'll, after a while, they'll sniff out if things are not right. They'll sniff out if you're really who you say you are or who you're not. It just takes a matter of time. If you're true to what you do, people will understand like this person right here is real deal. And this person is is for real about what they're saying about or what they're doing. They'll sniff that out. You can't fake it over here on this side. You can't fake it on the artist side or whatever. You can't fake it on the producer side or the writer side. You have to go through things to be able to let the audience and let the people be able to be drawn into you. And if you cared about what everything and everybody said, you you'd be lost out here. You'll be lost out here. Like I see so many people caring about how a certain writer comes into the studio and how they're dressed. Or this person has a certain type of attitude or this, that, whatever. That's them. Either you got to work with it or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to work with it or not. So, you know. I, you know, I was talking to the youngins uh, last night and, uh, you know, it was one of those things that was like, yeah, Bolo, you know, you, you know, if you, don't, if you don't hop on this certain train, you're going to get left, which I was like, yeah, that's true. In music, you have to be on a certain type of train or you're going to leave depending on the genre that you're in. OK, music evolves. You have to be able to evolve with music. However, you still have to be your own self. You have to do things yourself. You have to be somebody who can be able to drive the culture forward. You can't sit here and, and try to drive the culture and you're, you're, you're halfway doing this thing by worrying about what people are saying or whatever because that means you'll be stuck in the same place that you're in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like you have to have blinders on in this thing. You have to seriously have blinders on. Like if you don't have blinders on and work, that's why some of the most famous people are the most weirdest. 
And they say, well, this person's weird. This person will never know because they beat at their own drum. They don't let all the deflectors and the detractors and everything like that get in their way because they beat on their own drum and they work the way they need to work. They do. And they don't let anything halt them or let anything deter them from what the goal is. You know what I'm saying? They don't. <laughs> so who who really who who's really winning right now? Are are you winning right now or is everybody else that you're listening to winning? I can't stand when people are always listening to other people and their ideas but not listening to their heart. How are you going to do music and you're not listening to yourself? You got to the person that you need to listen to most is yourself. Of course you need mentors and stuff like that, but you still need to listen to yourself and what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? You have to do things that that is what makes you happy. You got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you uh show pass. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I'm just trying to help you guys out, man. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Thank you, JM. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope to see all you guys tomorrow at the uh, live beat review as well. I hope to see you guys, man. It'll be dope to see you guys on there. You know what I'm saying? Come chill with the, you know what I'm saying? Come chill with everybody, man. And chill with old Bishop Bolo over here, man. <laughs> It'll be dope. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Johnny, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you listened to the message because I think that you know, we all need to understand that you can not have mentors. You can have somebody like me. I could be sitting here telling you all the stuff that you guys want to hear and what you need to hear and all this good stuff or whatever. However, at the end of the day, you got to be able to go off of your gut feeling and go off of things that is going to make you happy. All you producers, writers, engineers, all this stuff, you have to do stuff that's going to make you happy. There's no other way of looking at it. You got to. When I made most of my stuff, I was the happiest because I was doing things my way. I was doing things my way. I wasn't worrying about what people were saying and stuff like that. Only time things wasn't going my way is when I let people take my career and, and they were telling me what to do and all this other type of stuff. Nobody really knows how the hell to do none of this stuff. You can get the best managers, the best writers, and get everybody the best producers and still come out with a dud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you right, G. You right. You right, G. Everybody can try to make things seem like, oh, you're not doing stuff the right way or not doing stuff the way you need to be done. Who cares? I see a lot of y'all get defeated just because you, you see somebody tell you that your beats up. Some of you guys will go into a shell, damn near want to fight somebody because somebody says your beats don't sound good or your song doesn't sound good. And you guys will go, I'm talking about go in like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Uh, what is he talking about? My beats are not this, that. Who cares? It's Everything is subjective. This whole music thing is subjective. It's all subjective. Everything that we do in music is subjective. Who cares? Who cares about things being like that? Everything is subjective. All this stuff is subjective. Y'all go ahead and hit them likes, man. Hit them likes for me. Let's get some let's get some people in here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sticks, man. I'm 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 grateful, man. I'm grateful to help you out, man. If you ever feeling down, man, hit me up, man, cuz one thing I know, this thing can be real mental, and I know sometimes people need pick-me-uppers. Y'all go ahead and hit them likes, man, cuz I'm giving y'all free game, man. Free game. I ain't telling y'all to go ahead and donate. I ain't telling you to do nothing. I'm just want to give you guys some free game, man, and just try to help you guys as much as possible because I've been through all of this. 
And that's why, you know, if I feel like something's in my heart, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? You got to challenge yourself against yourself. You are correct, JM. You do got to challenge yourself. And a lot of people don't want to challenge themselves. They want to get admiration or feedback from other people to make them feel better. You have to be right within yourself first before anything. People can tell you all the great stuff. They can tell you all the good things or whatever about how good you are. But if you're feeling crappy on the inside, it's just going to be something that's just going to be very temporary. You need long lasting love. That's what you need. And you need to love yourself. My music is better when I'm feeling better. I go through my days as well. I go through my days, but while I'm on YouTube talking to you guys, while I'm on live doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. This is what it's about, me loving what I do and not caring what anybody else says. It's so many of y'all right now, and this is Bishop Bolo talking. It is so many of y'all right now who have listened to so many people the way your career has just ended. Because you're listening to people. You're listening to people who are not going to help you out. You're, they're not helping you out because obviously if you listen to so many people in your career is in the same position, what is that telling you? And to me, it seems like you might need to start listening to somebody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to turn around and understand that you have to be able to listen. You have to listen to yourself first and not listen to everybody else. If nothing is changing, how are you going to change if nothing around you is changing? Like me, if I get around somebody keep telling me the same thing and, and things are not working right, man, I, get out of here. I'm not saying get rid of your friends and nothing like that, but like if people are telling you certain things, it's just not happening, it's just not happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real, it's just not happening. And then people get all down and out and say certain things to you and you listen to all, you listen to a whole bunch of people you don't even know. Like that's the, that's the main thing. A lot of you guys are missing out on so much money is because you're listening to people that you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know people. I've seen people come on my live beat reviews. They'll play some beats, and somebody might say something wrong, and they get and they get in their feels about certain things. Like if you get on my one of my live beat reviews, I try to keep it as funky as possible, and I try not to hate on anybody. But some people be like, "Man, you know, I I, I think you could have said it a different way." Well, listen, in music, I'm gonna tell you straight up: in music, people are not going to be kind to you. They'll be kind to you in a sense to where they'll cover things up but they're not gonna be kind to you by their actions because they'll say a whole bunch of stuff to you, but at the end of the day, once everything is said and done, they'll either be gone, you'll never hear from people again, or they'll just tell you straight up they don't like it. How are you gonna take it then? If you're not ready for that type of a situation, you won't be ready for nothing because this is what music is. You make money by dealing with hard times. That's how this thing works. You make money by dealing with hard times. And the only way you're going to deal with hard times is if you go through it enough. That's the only way. If you go through it, you're going to go through hard times in this music game. I don't care on what level that you're on. You're going to go through it. You got to go through it. And, and the thing about it is people are scared to go through hard times. I don't know what it is right now. I know everything's super accessible. Everything is easy. Everything is microwavable right now. So really nobody shouldn't be going through nothing because everything is right here in front of your face. If you want to go ahead and push your song out to people, you can go ahead and pay Instagram. You can play Facebook. You can pay Twitter. You can do all this stuff. Pay for ads. You can shoot videos. They got stuff now. You can upload your videos now to Vivo and all this other type of stuff. They have so many different things to get your music out there. But then you'll be listening to somebody who's saying, man, you shouldn't be doing that, man. It's the way you should be doing it. What? When all this stuff is right here, ready in, in my face, and you're right here listening to somebody and things don't go right, it's like, oh, my goodness. They said it wasn't going to go right, so what am I going to do? What you're going to do is listen to your heart and listen to common sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, yeah, you're right, Rio. I don't know if they know. Like, the, the, the thing that's crazy is you got to listen to common sense. You don't have to listen to what everybody's telling you to, 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 get on, to get in your music career like that. 
You got to stop caring about what these people are telling you at this point. You got to start caring about how you feel and what you think about that. Everybody has a different scenario and everybody has to play certain things a certain way. But man, I'd be doggone if I'm going to sit here and be in the same spot. <laughs> Who wants to sit here and be in the same spot over and over and over again? Do you want to be in the same spot? I sure don't want to be. Like some people sit here and be in the same spot over, over and over again and be crying like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. These, these people are telling me to do this. These people are telling me to do this. What are you, What in your heart is telling you to do? Because the best person to promote you is you. I've been in several meetings with people. I've been in several meetings with labels and stuff like that. Now, I'm not, not, let's be honest with you. It's not like I'm in a label meeting every single day. Don't, don't get it wrong. Like, I manage an artist. We do label meetings through Zoom once a week. You know what I'm saying? And when I was at the height of my career, I was talking to labels every single day. Basically, um, from because I'm in the East Coast, they was in the West Coast. So basically from 12 o'clock to like 9 o'clock at night, I was getting messages. I was on the phone with people all every single time. And they would strategically come up with plans. And a lot of the plans didn't work. And I used to sit there and beat myself down like, man, they came with something. I'm listening to them. I did everything I'm supposed to do. And da, da, da. And then after a while, once I kind of got a grip on myself and I started thinking to myself, well, why don't I just kind of just do something a little bit different and actually follow what I think I want to do? Let me ask the artist what he thinks and let me try to do something that well, I want to follow what I want to do and, and not even think about what they're talking about. Not even think about it. Let me just do what I want to do and not care about what they're saying. And when I did that, that's when everything kind of opened up. Everything kind of blossomed. You know what I'm saying? Everything blossomed from that point. But, you know what I'm saying? What's good, Leather Jacket, Leather Jacket Assassin? What's good, man? You ain't late to the party because you're right here. And I'm going to tell you something straight up. Like, you, like, let's say, for instance, like Leather Jacket Assassin. He wanted to come down and he wanted to play his beats in Atlanta. He wanted to... You know, take that risk in driving down here to Atlanta and being amongst people and playing his beats. And he did his thing, right? What if he would have listened to somebody that said, nah, man, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should do that, man. It's not looking like a good look. It's not looking like a good look. What if he didn't follow his heart and came down here? He would have never met the people that he met. We was in a room filled with people, people knocking their heads, banging their heads, to, you know, to his beats. Beats sounded the best out of to me because, you know, of course he was using the MPC, you know what I'm saying? But it was sounding good, and they gave him some knowledge and everything like that. It was stuff that he used to where now he can use that towards his beats. You know what I'm saying? I was there. I was there in the flesh, and I seen it. And that's what you got to do. You can't care what everybody else is saying. You got to follow your heart right now. This is a point right now where it is true. Right now, this is a time where anybody and everybody can get to the money in music right now. This is the time right now. Anybody. And you can do several different ways of getting to the money. Several different ways. Several different ways. It's not where how it used to be where you had to take this step, take that step, take this step, because that way everything could have been contained. We were cattle, you know what I'm saying, in a gate. And the only way we can get out that gate is they opened up that gate for us to get out and to get into this new world of music. Now the gates are wide open. And the reason why the gates are wide open is one, because of the internet, and two is because now you have so many risk takers and we have so many people that are doing things their way. You know what I'm saying? It's so, you, know, you got to make your things their way. Okay, you got to do things that, you know, you got to do things your way. You got to. For your music to flourish, you got to do things your way because that's how labels want you anyway. They don't want you when your stuff is low and you're not doing nothing. They want you... When your music is to that point, they're like, oh, this is easy. I can just put some dollars behind it and it's cool. But before you get to that label, you, a lot of times you're doing things your way. 
Thank you, Amari Nassar. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you for that. Thank you. And if you guys do want to donate, please go ahead and donate if you can. If you can't, it's all good. We got the live beat review tomorrow. I'd love for you guys to donate as well. And I would love to see you guys at the live beat review tomorrow if possible. That would be great if you guys could really come on. You know what I'm saying? What's it good? Million to track. What's good? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Army vet, T-Town, what's good? What's good? What's good? What is good? You know what I'm saying? You got to, like like Samson saying right there, Samson Teen Studios, you got to make music for you. You really got to do this because at the end of the day, it's not going to be a lot of people that's going to sit in here and sit in these studios. They're not going to sit in these, uh, uh, they're not going to drive with you to places, they're going to do this. But most of the times, the people who tell you to, that they don't like something or they're not, they're not doing something with you are most of the people who are not really doing anything for your career in the first place. They're just there. At the end of the day, you're going to have to do this yourself and not care about what people think. Don't care about what your mama think. Don't care about what your daddy think. Don't care about your cousins. Don't care about this. Unless they're putting some money into your pockets. Now, if you're signing somebody and they're putting money into your pockets and they're taking care of you, then, yeah, you might need to care because at the end of the day, they pretty much own you at that point and you have to pay them back. So if somebody is putting some money into your pockets, yeah, you're going to have to pay them back. But if you're doing this thing on your own, you're spending your own money, you're doing everything yourself, pretty much yourself. Now, I mean really yourself, because a lot of you guys be like, oh, I do everything myself, but then you got somebody backing you at the same time. If you got a girlfriend, or if you got a boyfriend or something, he's putting some money into your pockets, you know what I'm saying? While you might be putting $30, $40, or $50 in a month, they might be putting another $10, $15 with you, or another $100 in with you. They're doing this, you, you have a partner, okay? If you're, if you're doing music, and you're, and you're, uh, you're doing music and you're staying at somebody's house for free, guess what? You have a partner, okay? If somebody's helping you out, you have a partner and you better take care of that partner. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. You have a partner. And that's the way you gotta look at this thing. That's the people that you should count on is the people who are willing. Thank you, uh, uh, Xavion. Thank you, thank you so much for that. I think I said it right. When you have people in your corner, you have partners. You have partners. And I and I hate to say it is when you have those type of partners in your corner, you have to look out for them. Now that's the ones that you don't need to switch up on and change up on and do nothing. Especially people who are with you when you were down and out. But let's understand this. Just because they're partners don't mean that they're right on everything that they say. Just because they're your partners doesn't mean that they say that this song is horrible, that it's supposed to be horrible or bad. No, that's their opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, okay? Everybody's going to have an opinion about something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to have an opinion about what you do. But it's not up to you to sit here and soak up every single thing people say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was one thing what Drake was even saying. Like, when people come into his comments and they say some rude stuff, and he used to always say his mom used to tell him, just give it three days. Don't respond back, just give it three days. Because by that, really, by that next day, you won't even care about it. You'll just keep trucking. I think a lot of things that's holding you guys back are what, what you're worried about, what people are going to say about you, when it doesn't matter. If somebody's going in to clock in at a job for eight hours out of the day, and you want to sit here and do music and you want to expand on your music and you want to be free from that, who cares what they think? Because I know how I am right now. I love being free, waking up anytime I want to do it, making music anytime I want to. I can do stuff around the house anytime. I can, I can decide certain things I want to decide on at that moment. I can do all that. On the defunct, thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. But it's so cool to where I can make those decisions on my own. I can do that. It took me a lot of years and it took a lot of help. It took a lot of help. My homeboys that, that got me here, you know what I'm saying? Even, even, uh, you know, even down to the people I was staying with, you know what I'm saying? To even right now, leather jacket assassin. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. But, 
at the end of the day, it is imperable that you still listen to your heart. Okay. Oh, thank you, F.A. Oh, you like that Wish You Well track? Well, legit. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good track, man. That was a good track. That was a good track. That's my boy. Thank you, F.A. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. But if you guys got any questions, y'all go ahead and ask me any questions. I'm going to try to answer. I'm not going to be on live that long because tomorrow we got the live beat review. I'm hoping to see all of you guys on the live beat review tomorrow. That would be great to see you guys on there. And to, uh, to you know, to go ahead and play some beats and listen to some great beats. All the producers are sending their stuff in. They should All the producers should have their stuff in by 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern time zone. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a great time with that. We're going to have a great time with that. We're going to listen to a lot of stuff. And I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, producers, I'm going to be a little bit tough on you guys now. I think we come to that phase with a lot of beat reviews that we need to be tough on beats. And I think that I'm doing you guys a disservice if I don't be tough on you guys so you guys will learn how to strengthen your mental up when people say stuff you don't you do not like. I think it's a lot of weak people that want to come into this music business thinking that it's cool. Like at the end of the day, you have to be able to deal with the bad to deal with the good. So I'm, you know, don't care what people say, soak it in, but don't sit there and let it just tear you all the way down to where you just I don't like that person because what they said about me okay that's cool whatever I don't care hell I went through the most ridicule when I did the uh, unison uh, <laughs> when I did the uh, unison drum monkey video man y'all guys came for me tough on that one but I thought it was comical because there was so many people that were mad about it but then at the end of the day they, was, they really were not mad about the actual plug in they were mad about the company which I had really nothing to do with that. Seth, he does what he does. But at the end of the day, most people are mad because how much it costs. Was it, did it cost too much? Yeah, I think it did, but it is what it is. But nobody was really looking at the plugin. Might've been actually pretty damn good, but some people was, was mad at me because I was doing that. But I was like, shit, I was answering the question and just doing what I need to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was doing a good advertisement for a company that I actually, I, I digged it. And it just imagine if I didn't, if I cared about what people said, who cares? I made my money, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what people fail to realize. I'm still gonna make my money either way. I'm still gonna make my money either way. And I'm gonna still do products and still uh, uh, make videos on products that I like and make pr videos on products that I don't like because I got to keep it real with you guys. You know what I'm saying? So let's see here. What we got going on? What we got going on in the comment section in here, man? What we got going on? How do you make money with all these digital platforms? Come on, man. How do you make money? Through streaming. You make money through streaming. When somebody streams your song and you make sure you have all your paperwork, not your paperwork, but you have all your stuff in order, you make money off your digital stream. So if you upload your song, wherever you upload it to, they'll collect your mechanicals for you. That's how you make your money. Let's see what we got. A lot of people don't want to make the sacrifices they need to make to both uh, work a job and work in music until they get their own music to the point to where it is they're living. You are true. It is true about that. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to make that sacrifice. And what I am saying to you is this. If you're working a nine to five and you might be dope in music and somebody comes to you and says, you know what? The only way you're going to be to this point in music is you need to quit your job. You need to quit your job today and focus steadily on music. And you know what I'll say? Don't you do it. Don't listen to them. There are a few success stories that do happen like that. Trust me, they are. But trust me, me being in Atlanta, Georgia, I've seen countless amounts of people do that and they ended up losing a great job and then having to go back to the workforce like a year later and getting a crappy job because now the job that they used to have won't even hire them back don't listen to them like that you get to the point to where you already making money because it doesn't take that long to make money uh, to make money well make money it doesn't take that long to make beats and to make songs you can do that after work you sure can you can do all that after work and make your money. You know what I'm saying? That's what you can do. 
Uh, what time is the beat review tomorrow and where do I send beats? The beats, the beat review is tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. The submissions are already closed. I do submissions on my website every Friday. That's how that goes down. Uh, Bola, what advice would you give a producer that wants to visit ATL, sell beats? Um, what I'm telling you right now is it's not like how it is in the old days, okay? It's not like you can come up here with a beat CD and just sell beats like that does not happen there's too many producers right now who are in with artists every single day is a lot so it's it's very i'm gonna be honest with you it's very hard to do it some people think just coming to atlanta and you just got beats you're just gonna walk into a studio and be platinum does not happen it didn't happen back then and it's definitely not gonna happen right now um how do you become a success a professional dj <laughs> man Get them crates and learn how to do it at the house. Go to go to some uh, clubs and get real good. And then pretty soon people will start calling you. Um, what makes a beat uh, repetitive? A lot of classic uh, records seem to be repetitive, but they're still classics. Because back then, you ha it wasn't the technology like it is right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the classics are the classics. And the classics, they had to work with what they had. And they end up with being classics. Then they're going to be classics forever. So... It doesn't really matter about beats being repetitive. There's a lot of stuff that I do that's repetitive, and it really doesn't matter. People say, oh, the beat's repetitive and stuff like that. What I'm saying is if you're trying to showcase your beats, you don't want to be repetitive. Now, if you're doing it for, like, to give it to an artist, that's cool. And I can hear that, but when you're showcasing your beats, especially at beat battles, you don't want to be too competitive. Like, my beat review, if I hear something that just sounds dull and it makes me want to fall asleep, then I'll say it's competitive. But if it, if the beat is hard and it's, and it's repetitive, I don't really say too much. You know what I'm saying? Bronx River Forever. I see you, Hassan. Um, what's up, DD? DDS 825, a machine user. You better follow his channel, man. Y'all follow uh, DDS 825. He has a lot of great tutorials on the machine. I actually... I actually uh, watched a lot of your videos when I had the machine too, man. You really helped me out. You know what I'm saying? You really helped me out. Um, how do you get on your producer's spotlight? Um, you got to be a producer, and pretty much you got to be referred to me. So if you don't, it, you know, if people don't refer you, I, I really don't get on it like that. Is putting beats on streaming services worthwhile for somebody who doesn't have a large following? Yes. Yes. It's cool. Still do it either way. You don't have to have a huge following. Trust me, it's a lot of people who have less followers than me that are making good money on streaming services. Okay, you got to start somewhere and you have to know what to do. Like the hardest part is uploading your stuff on the streaming services, actually putting it out. Making the music is so easy, but some people have, it's like the hardest thing for paying some money, like going to DistroKid, which y'all guys need to all get DistroKid accounts if you don't. Go ahead and click that link in, in my description. You can go ahead and get your DistroKid account. And that way it'll kind of help you out with putting your albums on because you can upload as many songs as you want within a year. So y'all can click that link if y'all want to get a DistroKid account. But yeah, put the, put your music out there, man. You never know who can listen to it. And, and then the thing about it is if you're a small, if you're somebody small at this point right now, right? If you're somebody small, put your album out, try to promote it a little bit and see what works and what does not work. Use it as an experimental tool, but it's always gonna be there. So if your music does get bigger, most of the, your fans are gonna go back to your older stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? So you can still make money from it or you can take it down and whatever you wanna do, but you could use it as an experiment to see because if you don't have nothing to work with, you wouldn't know how it works. So experiment with some stuff. Um. Man, thank you. Man, I thank you, uh, DDS825. Uh, Appreciate you. Uh, what do you think about producers who steal others' beats and use them as if it's their own? I think it's trash. I think you shouldn't do it. Um, and I don't like it. I mean, that's that's the easiest thing I can say to you right now. Um, only the funk. I live in here ATL, and a good strategy is to find out when beat battles. Yeah, find out when beat battles and networking events is going on. That's a, that's a good way of getting stuff out. Uh, where do you find talented artists to work with? Uh, LMA told me to find talented artists, but where do you find? Them? I don't. Know. They, they, artists are everywhere. Um, the classics are still the best to me. I don't get bored listening to in contrast. Don't know why ADHD. I get bored hella easy. I do too. 
I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why I have to make my beats fast. And y'all guys have seen, if y'all watch my videos, a lot of my videos, I make my beats and I don't put no cuts or breaks in them. And I'll show you guys how fast I make my beats. So all these people that's doing all this stuff, man, and saying how fast I make beats, y'all see my videos. I don't even cut, uh, make any cuts or breaks in my stuff. So y'all see how fast I make my beats for real. Um, um, I drive a pet truck. Money's probably earning by 75K a year. <laughs> Yet, all I think about is making music all day. Keep the job. <laughs> fund the dream. You are correct. Keep the job and fund the dream. Now, that's something that I listen to that, y'all. Definitely listen to that. Um, Leather Jacket Assassin. Oh, you'll be back on the 27th? Okay, cool. I think I will be in town. I think I'll be in town for that one. So, if you are back, I'll, um, you know, I'll come through and I'll support you again, man. Most definitely. Um, what do you think about live instruments and gangster beats a lot a lot is touchy with laptops whatever's dope it's a lot of live instrumentation it's a lot of live list instrumentation you can use you don't have to you don't have to bog yourself down with oh i, I can only use this sound or use this or that like you can use a lot of stuff you use a lot of stuff a lot of this stuff you can just use on your own like you know it's a lot of get. It's a lot of beats with live instrumentation, guitars, and all that stuff in it. Like for real. Now I'm hoping you guys are taking some of this in because what I'm telling you guys is some stuff I really mean from the heart. Like I'm not. I'm not the type of person who's just gonna be talking and just be talking out my behind. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people just be talking, man. Talking, 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 talking. And don't know what they're talking about. Like me, if I don't know something I'm talking about, hey, if somebody wants to correct me, I stand corrected. But some people will really sit here and just be talking. Posting beats that aren't mix and master. Man, post them beats because guess what? A lot of my beats that I post ain't mix or master. They just level and I put them out. If it sounds good, it sounds good. Just make your beat sound good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got two jobs and sleeping couch to couch. I have to create to not lose my marbles. I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. Man, definitely, man. I love to support independent artists. I love supporting just producers in general. I love supporting you guys because at the end of the day, you guys need somebody like me who's been through it. Now, right now, am I the biggest producer in the world? No. Definitely not. Am I the biggest producer on YouTube? No. Definitely not. You know what I'm saying? But do I feel like I'll get back to that? Yeah. If I really put in more time and just got in the studio like I was, yeah. But this is this is fun to me right now. I've already had that. I've already had that run. I've gotten to that point. I've, I've gotten to that point. But I, I I had that run and it was great. Now I think that I, have, I think it's something else in store for me right now. And I think that helping you guys out and, and using my situations to help you guys out is 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 what's best for me. Um, people overthink too much about posting beats online. If it sounds good, drop it. Yeah, drop it, man. Drop it. Unless you're still working on like your beat tape or whatever like that. If you if you're still working on that, like, okay, cool. If you're working to get it better, cool. But just if you're done with the beats, drop it. And you're gonna get some negative remarks. But at the end of the day, if you did the most perfect beat in the world, somebody's still gonna say something negative about it. This is how it goes. Don't. don't don't get yourself roused, roused up about stuff that ain't going to matter. Like, people get so worried about it. You know what I'm saying? What's some placements that you have gotten? <laughs> wow. All right, my biggest placement is a song called Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nene by Silento, which is now Certified Diamond. I had another placement with uh, Two Pistols of T-Pain called She Got It. Um, I had another uh, placement with Two Pistols and, um, um, ah, shoot. Uh, uh, I did one with him in French Montana. Uh, did another one with him with, um, um, not Joel's, but the other one. Did one with him. Dobie, I did three songs on his, his project. I did The Taylor Girls, which this song went gold. Um, I did another record with Darwin, um, wrote on that one. That song is almost double platinum right, right now. Um, I worked with R. Kelly before. 
I worked with Danny Decane before, um, did some stuff uh, with Jesus Camp with Bama. Um, who else I did? Um, I just did like four or five songs with this new artist on Sony named LeBans. I just did some of his stuff. You can look his stuff up online, see some, see some of the stuff I did with him. Um, who else I worked with? And a slew of Atlanta artists. You know what I'm saying? A slew of Atlanta artists, a slew of Florida artists. Um, nah, I was never on no Doggo Donda album. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. No. Nowhere near it. <laughs> how is the how was the producing game changed since you got in it? Um since it's more laptops now, it's a lot more producers. And since it's internet, it's a lot more easier to kind of get your stuff to artists because if you kind of stay on the artist, you can kind of get to them a little bit better. Um, how do you feel about dropping beats and songs while having their PRO? Is it selling necessarily or always? Um, if people don't have this, if, if you don't have your stuff together, that's your fault. If they don't have their stuff together, that's on them. So you can just drop it. You know what I'm saying? Drop it, but make sure you don't collect all of the royalties for yourself. Just put unknown artists or unknown publishers, so if they want to collect it later on down the line, they can do that. Just do it the right way. Um, yeah, Danny DeCain was cool. They were cool. Yeah, um, I did some with um, 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 actually did uh, another song called "Pay Me" with Polo's artist uh, Veronica Vega. That song did that song did really uh, really good as well. Um, that was a big, that was a pretty big placement for me as well. Then, um, uh, who else? My guy, Tom G in Florida. Uh, I work with a lot of artists, engineer a lot of artists too. That's why I'm saying like, I don't, like, I don't have a, a super amount, a ton of placements. I did stuff with Cap G. Um, who else? Um, I got a ton of placements with a lot of stuff. I've been in the studio with a lot of artists and worked with a lot of artists. A lot of stuff came out, some stuff came out, some stuff didn't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it. Like, you don't have to have, um, you don't have to have a, a whole bunch of placements to, to do. Like, people think that you have to become platinum on every song to do this, to like, to make money. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to be platinum on every single record. If you if if you can get you a good some good quality artists and get on some albums and keep everything steady, you can still make a lot of good money in the music game. You don't have to be platinum. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be. Oh, thank you, Stab Music Man. I'm trying to be a legend out here in these streets, man. I'm trying to be. <laughs> no, I was not on Donda at all. <laughs> Uh, which platforms are the best for producers? Instagram or YouTube? Both. Both of them. Both. <laughs> Both of them. Um, you're awesome. Uh, do you you uh, do you and I have a life balance that you're supporting a lot of people sharing your time? Thank you. I try to I try to share as much information as I can with people. Like I think that's the best thing to do is just try to share share as much information. I've had a lot of artists that came by my spot that were nobody's at the time, and now they're big, you know, big artists and stuff like that. So, you know, a lot of people see me, it's a lot of mutual respect, and people treat me a little different because I did open up my doors to a lot of people who are now doing very well right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Bolo, how do I make a drum kit? Find some sounds you like, EQ them, saturate them, limit them, um, or create your own sounds. You know what I'm saying? Go to sub bass and create some stuff or uh find some bass tones, distort them and do some things, make your own sounds. You can you can make sounds out of anything right now. You know what I'm saying? You can make sounds out of anything. So you can you can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? What's up with M in the game situation? Oh, you must have seen my post. <laughs> I made a funny Instagram post with that one. But y'all need y'all need to follow my Instagram too. I've been making some funny posts. You know what I'm saying? Uh any artists you would like to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Uh, of course. It's a ton of them. A ton of artists. Too many in to the name. Um if you could collaborate with the biggest artist from New York and the biggest artist from California, who would you collaborate with? 
Um, I would love to collaborate with SZA. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to collaborate with SZA um, in Cali. And in New York, um, it's a young lady in New York. I forgot her name, though. Dang, it's not coming up. I can't think of it right now. But she's a young R&B singer there, and she's really dope. That's what that's what I want to work with. I don't want to work with like the two two big artists. Like I, you know, what I'm saying Scissors probably like somebody who I really could be. I think I could be really creative with. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what we got? What we got on here? I'm gonna stay on here just for a couple more minutes. But hey, y'all make sure y'all hit them like buttons, man. Y'all 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 hit them like buttons on here. I just want to answer some questions before I get off. But y'all hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? And uh, y'all make sure tomorrow. Tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m., y'all come on for the live beat review and show these producers some love, man. Y'all come on for the live review tomorrow night. Come on there. Y'all go ahead and drop. Y'all go ahead and, 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 and you know, and, and, and drop a few donations tomorrow night. That'll be cool if you can do that. Drop some donations. That'll be dope if you can do that. And, uh, you know, make sure that you come on tomorrow night and support the other producers that are coming on because these guys have spent their money and uh you know and they they came to showcase their their beats for you guys and for me but i try to do it for everybody um who are you working with now i'm doing most of my stuff right now with an artist named little donald I'm actually managing him right now um he is platinum right now. He's actually um, about to be double platinum. He had a song called uh, um, "You uh, Do Better," which uh, was a great song for females who was in bad situations. Uh, working with him right now, and working uh, uh, with Lil Band right now, and uh, working with a few artists from Florida, um, and pretty much that's it. I don't like to I don't like to take my caseload too big. I like to keep everything kind of small. And I'm developing a few little small, you know, young artists right now as well. So that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you should make a video about gangster R&B artists. I did. I just made a video about that today. I just did. I did on my Instagram today. And I find all my stuff on Instagram. I just scroll through Instagram. If I see something I like, I'll save and I'll make a reel about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's what I do. Um, J. Coop, when are you going to be streaming on Twitch? I think when I get 100 followers, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. Once I get 100 followers. If I do that, I'll start doing it. I might do some free reviews on Twitch. Uh, thank you for thank you for the placements, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I got more songs, too. I got I got a, another song that's got like 9 million, or well, more than that, like 20 million views. Uh, shoot. I got, uh, at one point, I was on, um, at one point, I was on a, uh, Triller and I got the top 10 on Triller uh, with the song that me and Candy Rain did. It was just something we just put out and it ended up being like that. So I got to get a plaque for that as well. You know what I'm saying? And then, and of course, I had my writers on the Jamie Foxx record, the Blame on the Alcohol record. That was cool. You know what I'm saying? So that was a cool thing. Didn't get credited for it, but I got my little Grammy plaque for it. So it's, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 cut it off today. I appreciate everybody who did go ahead and support and who donated on here, man. The Bolo congregation, y'all came out again. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the studio real quick, and then uh, me and my girl are probably gonna go out real quick. But yeah, you, you guys are the best, man. I really enjoy talking with you guys. I'm gonna do more lives like this and, and doing them a little bit longer as well. But yeah, um, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. I hope to see you guys at the live beat review. Tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m., uh, 7.30 p.m. Central, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Mountain, and uh, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're in Hawaii, I know it's later than that. But y'all go ahead and make a donation tomorrow night for live beat review. Support these other producers on here. Give your honest opinions about what you think. And uh, we're going to have a great time, man, tomorrow night. So, um, oh, let, one more question. Only the Funk, what new hardware gear are you looking at? I'm um, a hardware dude. Uh, I'm not really looking at no more hardware. I might get some pedals. I don't know yet. But um, I'm not looking at too much hardware right now. I'm not doing too much hardware. But I appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to have more content coming out real soon. And, uh, man, I just appreciate you guys, man. So, all right. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow night. Hope to see you tomorrow night. And like I always say, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.